Hello Year 5 and 6, welcome back to Friday's reading tutorial, your final one of the week. You know the world very well by now to rewrite a scene from a different character's perspective, although apparently I, even though I know it well, I can't say it properly. Um, you've got only three pages to read today, if I'm on it, I tell you a lie, you've got five pages, I knew it was an odd number. So if you are reading this from the PDF, you're doing from 169 to 173? Yes. I was right. Uh, if you're doing it on the video, do pause on each screen. When you have read through it this time, you are going to write, well, in fact, I'll tell you at the end. So use your routine. Pause the, on each uh, pair of pages, read over it, make sure you know it well. You're going to be writing from the grandma's perspective today, from Gran's perspective. So make sure you're thinking about she's not in the first couple of pages, but then she appears in the last two or three, I think. So when you get to Gran, make sure you're thinking about how she's feeling and how things would seem from her point of view. Other than that, though, usual routine, pause on each page, start the video to go to the next ones. Okay. So, unsurprisingly, the scene that I'd like you to be writing from the perspective of is when Cameron is in the hospital bed and Gran comes in to speak to him. I'd like you to rewrite that scene. There's lots of speech in that, so you can keep that speech absolutely the same. But I'd like you to write from Gran's perspective. How's she feeling? What's she thinking? Um, it will be an interesting scene to read this one. As ever, when you've done, show your, parent, show your parents, show your teachers, and send them in to me, if you can. I'd love to read them. I'll be back with you on Monday for, what week is this? Week six this will be, since half term on Monday. My goodness. Uh, but I'll be back with you then. Hope you have a lovely weekend when you've completed this work, and I'll speak to you on Monday. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>